Before we get into today's episode, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Prize Picks. We have now partnered up the Late Show and Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best and easiest way to play daily fantasy. And what makes Prize Picks different is you're placing entries on players, not teams, scoring more or less than their stat prediction. And another great thing about Prize Picks is it's available in California, Texas, Florida, and many other U.S. states. All first-time users can use my promo code LADE. That's LAID. When you sign up, it'll give you 100% of what you deposit. So let's say you deposit $100, they'll instantly deposit match that and give you another $100 to make entries with. And like I said, I've been using Prize Picks personally for years. It's the most easy, quick way to make entries on sports. Good luck. Use my code LADE. Let's get back into the episode. Welcome back to the Late Show. The Late Show. It's been a month, Lamar. You've been busy. It's been a month. It's been a month, bro. Damn. Let's talk about it. We we acquired four new players we got via four trade. New players. We got D'Lo, Beasley. Versatile players that can create their own shot. I think they're going to help tremendously. So, what do you think about D'Lo? We start with him. Second stint in LA. First time around, had the whole thing with Nick Young. Hopefully, no. I know this time it'll go a lot better with his teammates. Hopefully, it'll be a lot. He's learned his lesson. And he's a veteran in the NBA now. All star. He's been an all star. He's been an all star. He led a Brooklyn team. Played well with the Warriors. He was an all star for Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Well, I like him because he can create his own shot. He can get his own. Take some pressure off of uh, God James. Speaking of God James, he broke finally... the scoring record. My man, God James. And you were there. Is he the best ever because of that? No. Oh. What did we say right before the podcast? What were you thinking right after you left the arena that night? Yeah, he's not better than my man, but he's, you know, I love him. But um He's afraid of the man on his shirt. Yeah. But God James is Respect. right now he's the man. Uh he has the most points ever. That's incredible for one of the best passes ever. He said I wasn't even trying to go, go for that record. What do you think about Bomba? Seven, seven Bomba's from Harlem, Harlem, baby. Harlem in the house. Facts. New York City in the building. What high school did Bomba go to in, in Harlem? That's a good question. We're about to check on that. But uh, we got rid of Thomas Bryant because... <clears throat> he, we got Bomba. We got Bomba, but we got rid of Bryant because he wanted a bigger role. And what bigger role? What did you want to do? More shots? You know what I'm saying now he's behind. Well, Jokic. he should have. He should have took a bigger role. Got more rebounds. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I mean, without it, when, when AD was out, he was getting. He was playing very well. AD came back. I guess his role obviously lessened, but he wanted a bigger role and went to Denver. Now he's behind Jokic. So I don't really know how you get a bigger role there. But they are first seed, and also the reason why they traded him is because they were gonna lose him in, in free agency regardless. They couldn't. They couldn't pay him. So now they got rid of him. They were able to get three second round draft picks. Well, more power to him. Hope he has um, much success in Denver. Well, not that much, but. And West Town School in Pennsylvania graduated from and went to Carnegie Mellon School first in the country. Oh, he didn't go to school in New York City. I didn't think so because I didn't hear about him like busting ass in high school. <clears throat> we just know that song. But I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure he was killing though. Yeah. But I, I like the additions. I like the I like any any additions that could take. Um, you know, that can um, ease some pain for, for Braun and, and AD. I agree. You and then we got to talk about Vando because, first of all, he's a fan favorite instantly because he just plays with, you know, grit, hustle, does I little think things. because of his energy. And then Rob Palinka actually on Spectrum Sports and was like, I see flashes of Lamar Odom in Vanderbilt. So what do you think about that? Oh, he must be versatile. I haven't really seen him play. I haven't really got to see him check him out. Um too much, but the little that I've seen, he can get to the hole. He defends and he plays with good energy. Right. That's what that's what Laker fans love. Like, yeah. That's how you win fans over too. And then speaking of fans, you look at Westbrook went to the Clippers a couple of days ago. I'm happy for him. <clears throat> yeah. What do you think about that? Because I know you were big on Russ. Well, I'm happy for him. And hopefully, they could um appreciate his style and what he brings to the game, what he brings to this team. So, are you saying that Laker fans didn't appreciate <clears throat> what he was bringing to the Lakers? I don't think so. Because he was, he he said it like in his. I don't think so. Press comments. He was like, not if the, you know, you could hear it, you know, in in a crowd whenever whenever he got the ball. Okay, but you gotta understand, he I, came I think, here, we welcomed him with open arms. Then I think, like, I think the way he played, the, the way he played the game, he was gonna win them over, like he started to do. He was definitely yeah, because I mean, you can't go wrong when you play hard and you got skill. 
Believe me. You, you believe me. I play in, that, in this league. Right. Yeah, if you if you got some type of skill and you play hard, you'll be all right. And your heart is in the right place every possession. So this was the pushback because Russ has all of those. Plays with heart, 100% effort every time. The pushback is, especially in late game situations, like he's just making questionable decisions that like push everyone off off the edge because like the Lakers need every win they can get yeah. since the beginning. Well, now they don't have to deal with it. That's what I was saying. So, you know, obviously, I mean, I wish him the best. Hope he <clears> plays <throat> well and um, with the other LA team. That just makes it even more spicy, huh? Yeah. Didn't yeah. have to move houses, nothing. He's yeah. ready to go. I'm pretty sure he's neighbors with LeBron. It adds to the um, to the series, the the storybook of this of this of this of this season. Five, I think five years and five five teams in five years, right? I think so. Russell Westbrook. Crazy. So we gotta talk about the standings because coming it's, off it's the tight, all-star, huh? coming off the All Star break, we got twenty three games left, and you said this on one of the first podcasts we did. Every game is a game seven because we started two and ten, zero and five, two and ten. Now more than ever, bro, we gotta win. So as of right now, we're recording right now. The Lakers are two games out of ten seed, which would give them the playing spot. So the tenth <clears> seed <throat> is. The actually, the playing spot, you actually still make the playoffs. The 10th seed, you still make the playoffs, but it's a just one game. You have to win two games. If you're 10, you got to win two games. If you're, if you're 9 or 10, you got to win two games. Two out of two. If you're 7 or 8, you got to win one out of what two. Tenth, what 10th team has made it to the conference finals? I don't think it's happened. I'm not sure it's happened, but... This is what LeBron's been, and all the coaching staff, when we had Phil, what he said, he said, we get in the playoffs, no one wants to see us in a seven-game series. So, as of now, you know. That's the truth, but you don't, you know. Because, look, expectation-wise, we're not going to get the third, fourth, fifth seed. We're, the sixth seed is maybe obtainable. We're, we're three and a half back of sixth seed, and that avoids the plan. 23 games. The sixth seed avoids the plan. You're you're out of the plan. You 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 avoid the plan. You play a so three what, seed. So what what seeds are the playing seed? Like it goes seven versus eight. Whoever wins that game gets the seventh seed, and whoever wins the nine versus ten. How long have they had it like this? A <laughs> couple of years. I don't like it. The player, you know, the Lakers were in it a couple of years ago versus the Warriors. They won, crazy game. But twenty three games left. We have a, we have the third hardest schedule in the league. But we're fully healthy. It's like the first time all year that we're fully healthy. Not a single player is not playing tonight. Yeah, but it's, that's, it doesn't make it any easier because these guys don't even. Well, you got the only advantage you got about to only advantage you got is that the three new guys played with each other. Four, but what do you? So what do you Already think? In Minnesota, this is the right? this is the main question, bro. Beasley, Vando, D'Lo, and Bamba. Bamba was there. New. No, but Bamba, I'm talking about in Minnesota. Three. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 Bamba was in Orlando. But three guys played in Minnesota, so you have some cohesiveness there. Yeah. That's the thing. The Lakers made the right moves, but the question is, was it too late? Do you think right now we're two games out of the 10th seed? That's like, that's where we got to be minimum. You think we're making the playoffs? When's the trade deadline? It's over. We made our trades. And you can't make any more trades. You can get we can get out the buyout market. So Will Barton, John Wall, and Demarcus Cousins are like the top three guys on the buyout market. One spot. We have one spot left. So we'll Kyrie see, wants bro. out of Dallas, right? <laughs> we'll see. I want to speak about that. We have Kyrie, and then we have KD. What do you think about KD going to the Suns? You know how I feel about the team with the gorilla. Well, I'm okay. Well, what about the Suns? Like the team, new they're owner. Really good. They got a damn near team USA on their team. You think they're gonna? You think they they should win the finals? They're really good. And I'm an LA Laker, so we don't really like the Suns too much. Yeah, they you said after the one. you said after the Celtics, the Suns are. Your I would see from what I've been through with them. They like I would tell three one. Yeah. But what do you think about that move? Like, do you think that puts them over the top? Like, yo, we're going to win? That made them really good, bro. So you have them coming out of the West? They're going to be hard to beat, though. 
fully healthy? Because you got to remember, they, they had like got a, they got a, they got a, a, they got a really ago. good um, captain, too. CP? Yeah. They had like 65 wins last year, no? Crazy. And Durant joined the 73 Warriors, 73 win Warrior team. Now 65 win Suns team. But I need to let you guys know about our sponsored Tick Pick. The only place you need to go for NBA tickets, they have zero service fees, no added fees or taxes at checkout. What you see is what you pay. And use code Aaron, A-R-O-N, for $15 off your first order, $99 or more. So what do you think about the East, though? Who do you think is coming out of the East? It's too tough in the East because you got <clears throat> Milwaukee. Got Boston, Boston. Philly. Philly, I don't know. I know Philly can compete with Boston and, and Milwaukee, but I just don't really see them doing it. Not yet. I love MB. But like they gonna need Harden to be like Harden. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like what they need like from him. Rockets Harden? Yeah, what they need from him, he hasn't, you know, put it out in the playoffs yet. Especially scoring, because he's getting like 10 assists per game. Man. He's a motherfucker. He can score the ball from any which way. You can't, nobody stop him from scoring, but I don't know what it is. Is it intangibles at the end of the game, just being there? Because, you know, in, in Houston, he got hurt when him and Chris Paul had a shot to. Right, they were right there. Yeah. They were right there. They were up 3 2, right? Up 3 2, then CP got injured. I want to. I want your thoughts on the on the Nuggets. First seed, Jokic, the best player on the best team. What do you think about that? Can he win three in a row MVPs? Probably so. His stats are like the same, or even not even better. They're insane. I think he's averaging a triple double. But you have Tatum. You have. I don't give a fuck. How could you, if, he, if his stats That's got, what I'm saying. If his stats got better, how could you not give? How about him? this? You take away Jokic right. from that team. What seed are they? They have they Murray. The you think they don't make like that's what I'm saying. Like, look at Boston, like with Tatum. He's obviously their best player by far. But like you take him off that team, like they're still making the playoffs. Yeah, they have Jalen Brown, Brown and, like Jalen Brown could hold. But like J- Jalen Brown is a like a big time oh, yeah. number two guy. Big time. Like, don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? Yeah. But do you think that's possible? Three in a row. Cause I feel like people don't want to like I feel like they don't want to give it to him again because he's not like a flashy player. Well, it's like, all about these. I don't who 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 votes on it on it. It's on a mix of analysts, the reporters and shit, right? Yeah, it's a mix. But Depends on what they like. We'll see. I think I think he'll get it again this year. And then one more thing, LeBron obviously passed. God, James he passed Kareem. Do you think it'll ever happen again, given the load management that takes place in today's NBA? No, because I don't. But I don't think load management have anything. Disregarding load management, you still you think no one's ever gonna get that record? No, records are meant to be broken. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, somebody get it. Luka Doncic. Um, we might be. How long? How do? How long did it take LeBron to get this one? Was it like thirty years? Thirty years. Thirty eight years. So one of these kids might get it. One of these kids are going for it. Um, what's the kid from Orlando? Van Carroll? Yeah. Take somebody with a certain type of body type, motor, put it in the game, put it in the basket, and they got to be a play. Stay healthy, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, like I said, 23 games left. That was a good pick, huh? I just picked him out of nowhere, right? Van Carroll? And you got to want it, too. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You got to really love the game. I don't know what he want to do in the summertime. Where's he from? What nationality is that kid? American, I guess. Where he grew up? I don't know. I'm not sure. But 23 games left. Two games out of the 10 spot. We got 20, a big... 23 games left. Two games out of the we 10 spot. We need 17 of them. So we need to go 17 and 6 is what you're saying. People are saying 18 and 5, 17 and 6. Yeah. Cause they got a twenty bunch. and three will make or uh, make me. I'll be, give me your, your twenty and pick. three with the third hardest schedule in the I don't NBA. Give a fuck you, Lakers. The God Facts. broke the record. <laughs> so you're calling it right now. Lakers will make the playoffs. Twenty and three. Of course we're gonna make the playoffs. 
We play. We start the season to make the playoffs. That's the minimum is to making the playoffs. We're Laker. Just get us in seven game series, fully mm-hmm. healthy. I like it because if we get to six seed, we're playing the Kings in the first round. <laughs> so we'll see. They cooking. We'll see. They are cooking, but we have God James on our team. God James. <clears throat> and uh, we'll see you when the Lakers make the playoffs. Peace. See you on the next one.